Hi everybody. I just came out of the greenhouse and guess what? I'm not going back in today because it's like 95 degrees. It's really sunny. Um, I'm coming back from the uh, farmer's market where I sold some stuff and where we got like um, 20 signatures for the Community Bill of Rights. Um, interesting thing happened today. I had a number of people show up and say, I would love to buy some plants, but I don't have any money. And they didn't want me to just give them to them, so I extended them credit. So now we get to be like a bank and have creditors out there who owe us money. <laughs> Are we going to charge high interest rates? That's the oh, question. Oh, yeah. That, um, sure. Smiles galore are required upon delivery of cash. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. <laughs> not, not a dollar of interest. Not a penny of interest. Um, friendships will increase. Friendships will increase. Fantastic. Um, and these folks are learning about the Community Bill of Rights, too, They are. Right? They are. They're learning about the Community Bill of Rights, and they're um, learning about gardening, too, because I give many lectures to anybody who wants to listen long enough. Oh, great. Yeah, look, look at some of this stuff that we have in here. Um, we got some new herbs uh, from, uh, this is lemon balm. Uh, somebody packed it up and donated it. Now, what do you do with lemon balm? Um... I don't know. You smell it like lemon and say, wow, that's wonderful. It's a spice that I never used, to be honest with you, Joe. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to research it and find out. Cause, okay. Cause I, love, I love to cook, and there's lots of good stuff. This is lemongrass, okay? Uh, it's good for Thai cooking. Um, you know, I've had Thai recipes. There's a Thai place in uh, Chinatown in Cleveland that... Mm -hmm has a recipe with lemongrass. Okay. That tastes this, very good. This is regular basil. Okay. This is Thai basil. Now what are the difference? This is, is there... much. I, um, I wish the people on the uh, internet could actually taste it. This is typical basil that has a strong, uh, very aromatic uh, uh, and a strong flavor. This is much more delicate. You don't put it in your face and you almost can't smell it. It's like Mm, you sure that's basil? And the answer is, yep, it's basil. It's just Thai basil, which is very, very mellow. Um, we Look at this. Uh, the strawberries have been going absolutely nuts this year, and we harvested a bunch of the plants. And there was only one person there who had strawberry plants. He had one plant that was like the size of four of these, and he sold it for eight bucks at the community garden. These come um, like, uh, this is what's called a sister stem grows out and sticks into the ground and becomes another plant. Okay, we clipped it off and, and, and potted the plant. Um, oh, fantastic. So it's I like want, perpetual strawberry plant. Yeah, it, it, your patch will just grow and grow and grow and grow. These were all dead when I took them down there today because they hadn't been watered properly. They're starting to come back and I think they'll be just fine. Those are peppers. and We call these tasty peppers, just like we talked in previous editions of tasty um, tomatoes, because we didn't know what they were. Mm -hmm. These are tasty peppers, because we don't know what they are. Ah. When you scrounge, we just so we give them the, the generic name tasty. These you could tell that are um, green bell peppers. You see, there's in there they're coming like crazy, mm -hmm. and they're doing so well because they're in such great soil. I took some lettuce just to see whether I could sell any of it, and it didn't sell. But that's okay. Didn't have to. Don't have to sell everything every time. There's another bell pepper. These, as they get bigger, go from $1 to $3 to $5 to $10. Um, and, of course, anybody says that's too much, we just cut the price for them. Mm -hmm. um, let me go over here and show you this tomato plant. One's back here in the corner. These were um, $5 tomato plants this week. And next week, they're going to be $10 tomato plants because they're growing like crazy and they have lots of tomatoes on them. Uh, let's go around the front, and I want to show you some of the things that's going on in the beds. The beds have been doing really well this year. Uh, we're getting tomatoes, uh, and we're getting peppers, and we finished up the um, the lettuce that we got. Um, and you can things see, look like they're growing like crazy. They are growing like crazy. So you get a shot of this. We weren't supposed to get any raspberries from these this year. And and look at that. They're coming, oh yes. Look at that. They're coming up beautifully. Here's one. Uh, those of you out there in computer land watching us, uh, Joe and I ate a handful of each of these. What did you call it? Ambrosia. Mm. 
and ambrosia. They're really good. Um, those were a donation to the garden. Look at this. It's the middle of July and we got yellow banana peppers. Oh, Sweet fantastic. yellow banana peppers. Doesn't that look just lovely? It does. Um, free uh, plants in free dirt. All it took was my labor. And the tomato plants are doing very well. Uh, look at all the green ones that are down in here. Oh, yeah. See those? Nice. Um, if you like fried green tomatoes, oh, man. Those These are fantastic. Do if you don't like fried green tomatoes, this is what they end up. You know what I saw the other day? I saw a dish where um, it was all tomatoes, but they were all different colors. They were red and orange and green all mixed in together. Yeah, those are that, yeah, those are, are, are cool. I like them. I've never planted them. This one's kind of rugged. It's got some uh, uh, some funky on the skin. Uh, not that it would be harmful. I'm gonna, I'll eat that one. I won't try and sell it. I don't sell anything that has marks on it. I just sell perfect. Um, and then look at this. you got to get a shot of this. Of this pepper plant. Look. Look at those peppers. Oh, wow. Look at those peppers. Is that just amazing? That's fantastic. One, that's, that's one plant. One plant. All over the place. And on almost every plant. Look, these are smaller than that. These are like muscle. just growing like mad. I say they grow about like beeps and lounge. They're growing in beeps and lounge. Oh, look, and another satisfied customer coming to look for some peppers. Which are the good ones? Oh, there's a good one. Um, Give me the ones that are ready to go. Okay, I will. Now it won't be. Uh, any tomatoes yet? Or? Um, here, take that one. Okay, they're, they're still early. Yeah, they're still very early, well, dude. I, I eat that last one, like you say, you can fry them up. Yeah, the fried green ones, they're great. You want to fry some more? Give, one me one. Some... Give me a green one. Give me a good green one that's ready to go. Oh, this one's ready to fry. Because you know what happens. Uh, within uh, seven or ten days, this stuff, is, is if we don't use it now, that, yeah, that's right. It gets recycled. And right, you want another pepper? Yeah. Okay. They're all. Oh, pretty, they all blew up pretty nice. They're all, yeah, they're all beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm give, giving you the ones that are the best ones for me to pick. All right. See how that that that's the flower. Oh, it's normal. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Enough, or you want another one? No, no, no. Let me eat these first. Okay. Have fun with them. Uh, don't forget, Ed, when you come, check the raspberry bushes. You only get one, two, or three berries at a time. But the dark red ones, the dark red ones are delicious. That's kind of what my mulberries did. Yeah. They, uh, they ended up kind of like going through their season, and now it's just picking for the, uh, the birds and stuff. Yep, yep. I haven't stopped any critters from eating any of this stuff. Well, no, no, they can eat it too. Yep, it's theirs, as it's much theirs. as it is ours. <laughs> we're, we're just borrowing it from them. <laughs> That's right, Sorry. we're just borrowing it. Thanks, another satisfied customer. <laughs> the neighborhood knows. You can come and get what you want. Uh, anything that's outside here, and some of the neighbors know you can go inside and get stuff too. That's another satisfied customer. He just comes and eats. Fantastic. Yep. Yep. And what's cool is that I know what store he shops at, and when he's getting this stuff, he ain't shopping at the corporation. Great. <laughs> Great. I love that. I love that. You know, Scott and I were just having that conversation this morning. He was handing out uh, Walmart flyers yesterday, uh -huh. and he said that one guy said to him, what can I do? What can I do to stop this after he read the flyer? And his response was, don't shop there. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Just don't shop there. One thing I learned in the garden is anytime you find something that's bad, get it far away from the garden. Yes. Far away from the garden. Because if that's a disease, I don't want it touching anybody else. Mm -hmm. I hated to waste a pepper like that. Could get a shot of this one too. Oh wow, these are just, they're like growing like wildfire. It's the poop they're in. Yep. Remember we keep calling it Ohio Gold. Yep, yep, a few more. Now see the thing of it is, if you don't snip these even though they're premature, these flowers don't get enough energy to turn into uh, peppers. Ah. Look I at this. See. Look at this. Oh, oh, get him before he goes away. Oh, there he goes. You missed him. Come on. Did you get no, that? No, I don't think I did. Son of a gun. That was a, um, we call them ladybugs. They have other names uh, for them. He goes around and eats the cooties, the, the things that are not good for the garden. The critters that um, are damaging it, he eats them. There was a butterfly here flying around before you got home, too. That white one? 
Yeah, no, the, he was, this one was orange, orange and black. Okay, I don't know what his role in the garden is, but... Um, the only they one know one, where to come. They do. They know where to go to get food. Well, Randy, we've hit our 10 minutes for okay. today. That's the community garden uh, agenda. Um, the off-the-grid uh, greenhouse. Look over this way. The off-the-grid greenhouse, and we're done. Bye, everybody. Thanks.